charges dropped against Hurricanes running back Mark Walton. And now tonight, even more good news for the team. Walton, who was suspended after his arrest, he's been reinstated tonight. Local 10's Carlos Suarez joins us live from the UF campus with the details. Carlos. Lori and Calvin Kane's fans are incredibly happy to have Walton back on the team. And while the criminal case against him is now over with, it is poised to give way to a civil complaint against the Miami Police Department. Mark Walton will find himself back in a Canes jersey this fall. The school announced late Monday that his indefinite suspension from the team is a thing of the past. Good morning, Your Honor. Earlier in the day, Walton and his attorney were in court. In video provided to us by 940 AM's Andy Slater, prosecutors told a judge they were dropping their case against the sophomore running back. The move his attorney said was long overdue. Obviously, it's a big sign of relief for him because he is now able to get back to being a student and playing football. Walton was arrested for DUI back in April. Cameras captured him undergoing a field sobriety test, which police said he failed. The circumstances leading up to his arrest, including allegations that Walton was set up by police, will soon make up a complaint being filed by Walton's attorney against the Miami Police Department. You don't see every random DUI that's done uh, on camera or anything like that. You basically don't hear anything about it at all, but with Mark, you know, it was, it was publicized. We do think that there was a lot of improper conduct. And a breathalyzer test showed that the 19 year old Walton was below the legal limit for someone of legal age to drink, but he was above the limit for someone under the age of 21. The facts and circumstances just aren't there. The state attorney agreed and said a lack of evidence kept them from moving forward with the case. And in response, UM said, quote, Following today's decision by the state attorney's office to drop all charges against Mark Walton and after addressing the matter with Mark, he has been reinstated to the football program. And uh, Walton's attorney says he plans to file that complaint with internal affairs. Now prosecutors also dropped a charge of driving on a suspended license after Walton agreed to pay a fine. We are live tonight on the campus of the University of Miami. I'm Corlew Suarez, Local 10 News.